this is Adam Jensen. I'm a big fan of Crazy Horse Gaming. I didn't ask for this, but I'll check it out. Hello everybody and welcome to Crazy Horse Gaming. I'm Mike and this is Zoo Tycoon. Zoo Tycoon is a launch title for the Xbox One. And as some of you may know, it's a classic title on the PC. And has also seen a few ports over to other areas, such as the Nintendo DS. Zoo Tycoon is kind of like a sim style management game where you create, run, look after and basically build up a zoo. You've got to take in a ton load of different animals, keep people happy, fed, watered, send these animals happy, fed, watered, entertained. Uh, there's a full on management system where you have to look into the finance. Uh, marketing strategies, I say strategies, uh, advertisement campaigns, where you're spending your money, where you're making money, whether you're keeping the animals happy or not, you can breed animals, full on, it's a full on management style game, uh, like I said it's a lost title for the Xbox One, it's a really great title, there's a ton load of stuff to see into, and I'm here just to give you a quick run through on the actual game itself. As you can see we have single player here, co-op, which I believe you can have up to three players at once helping out creating the zoo. You can join other people in building their zoos, you can actually help each other out, which is a pretty cool idea I think. You can build zoos together, you have a challenge mode, a free roam mode and a campaign mode. The campaign mode which we'll look at later takes you through different scenarios in different zoos. You can see there. The challenge mode obviously gives you challenges to do, and the free roam is no money is an object, you go off, do what you want, without any challenges. As you move on, as your zoo gets bigger and it gets a bigger fame level, you unlock more animals, more features, the ability to do more stuff really. So we'll take a look at a single player, as you can see there, same as the co-op, free form, challenge and campaign mode where real zookeepers prove themselves play through 20 play through 20 scenario based zoos in six categories to become the ultimate zoo tycoon with up to three online friends completing each scenario will reward you with unique items to use in the challenge mode so you unlock games in challenge mode same as free form mode you can get some special animals going to be unlocked by reaching zoo fame levels in challenge mode so you play the different modes, unlock other animals, features, buildings, and stuff like that. Uh, freeform mode as well. You can see I've already done a few of the missions here. Like I said there's 20 in total, so there's plenty to get you into. So we'll have a quick look at one I haven't started yet. Over in Finland, I think. Yes, let's start this scenario. One of the things that's got me so far with this, and as I mentioned in Rice and Rome, is the loading times. They seem to be forever. Now I'm not sure whether that is a mark of the console or whether it's just because these are launch titles and they still haven't figured things out yet. I'm hoping it's the latter as I open load times will improve with the console. It's a huge powerful console. I imagine it'd be able to do things a lot quicker than what it is doing. At least I hope. I mean this loading screen here goes on forever and ever. Sticking some lift music or something on the way here. Maybe I will. We'll see after the editing. Yeah. Oh, my God. Really nice little animation. Really. The, uh, let's take a while. Anyway, back to Zoo Tycoon. There is so much to do in this game. It's a huge game. Plenty to do. The amount of the variety in animals. So many. Well, here's the zoo. As you can see. Not bad graphics either. Not obviously stunning and super realistic, which they're not meant to be, obviously. Very quite cartoony. But still fairly decent. People look a bit plastic. Ah, I've got the buggies there so you can have a little drive round. This is zoo management mode. You can see, you can look around. So, got dot five animals of five different species. Important investors are coming to visit zoo satisfy all four your animal needs, bring every animal happiness. Into the green for three minutes. Should not to release it for a while or place any up for adoption or you will fail the inspection. I have quite a few challenges there, so the idea is once you get the challenges, the scenario done. 
Here is the uh, keepers facility. Zookeepers. The zookeepers go around uh, feed your animals or keep the the uh, feeding areas topped up, the water topped up, things like that. If you don't have them, you have to do it manually yourself. It just takes way too long and you're doing way much. So, my advice get them in early. Get you in a zookeeper's centre thing built, and you'll have no problem. As you can see down on the bottom right, the things I'm currently flicking through, we have like pings which shows you where you click on them, the certain ones. You can see, you see they're hungry. I'll show you like people happiness, animal happiness, or different things. But it just kind of helps know where you are. So obviously these elephants are hungry and are very clean. They're not fulfilling their social requirement. So first thing is check out the animals, see how many they need, and then you get whatever it is that they're missing. So obviously elephants like fruit and veg, so you cut them some food. There we are. Build the food, job done. One sec. That's what I was saying. Put some food there. And then that's job done. There we are. Food feeding station. Now the elephants can eat to the heart's content. You also need to make sure you have a cleaning area in for them and something to keep them entertained. And there's enough elephants in the pen. As each animal has a certain uh, social requirement so elephants I think like to be in I think it's group of threes uh, chimpanzees groups of fours tigers antelopes things like that large groups you get the idea fulfill all the requirements you got happy animals got happy animals happy zoo happy visitors as you can see in the up in the top there in the center you see that little star mark that's your fame level the more things you get in your zoo and it's all happy well looked after well maintained that goes up the more fame you get, the more unlocks. You've also got the money there and the amount of people coming in. So if the money starts going down or if people start going down, you're doing something wrong. Right, so. See there? Should get some animals in. Animals. The flumps. Click on the uh, baby elephant. They've got your different types there. You have to Research. Let's say the African bush elephant. You research them. Uh, research doesn't take too long. Quite good. As you can see in the top left there, it takes about 20 seconds. Oh, depending on what it is. So the zoo overview. As you can see, I need some restrooms. So we will go build a, a restroom here. I mean, just dipping down into the zookeeper's mode for some reason. Yeah. So we build a restroom, and that should do it. So create a really long path. So the good things and all is you get the right paths and they build the trees and stuff around. It looks really neat. Nice little animation there and your zoo can spread out pretty quickly and start to look pretty impressive. So you don't have to be too finicky like in SimCity where you, you have to wire up all the water and the electric and stuff like that. So get me an elephant in there now that the research is complete. Antelopes, antelopes are good. You can mix the animals, however, so you could have like monkeys and elephants together. Uh, certain animals can be with certain animals, obviously, but animals can't, so you could stick monkeys in with lions or tigers because that just won't end well, really. Well, I imagine the lions and tigers won't mind so much, but I don't think the uh, monkeys would be so pleased. Here comes the uh, chinook. Drop it off. Nice animal skin chinook there. And out comes a baby elephant. Ta da! Zoom down into zookeeper mode. Yep. And take a bit of a photo. You can save that to your photo album. Get achievements for filling your photo albums up, but I haven't looked into that yet. It's just a quick look. Uh, also, you'll get random notifications or challenges telling you that a certain magazine or a website wants photos of a certain animal, so you go take pictures of them, and then you get money for it. All sorts of challenges like that. Get money for doing certain things, builds up your zoo, builds up your fame, which is all good. Train up my staff to level three. So obviously I want the best of the best for my zoo. I have no slackers in here. Right, so let's have another peek. We have some elephants there. They all seem fine. Fairly well fed. No problems there. 
What have we got over here? What's that under the trees? Everybody's not very happy. It's a polar bear. Awesome. I think polar bear needs some food. And some water. Here we go, as you can see. Down there, fish. You got the three stars, lions, tigers, bears, or bears like fish. Grab that to level two, gives it more fish. Which I imagine is so you can feed more at once, I think. They don't need filling up as often. Not really much of a problem when you got the zookeepers, but you know. There we are. Right, I'll give it something to keep itself clean. These are quite cool them so they can clean themselves. You can also have like a, a, a spray a cannon thing which enables you to hose them down or certain animals to hose down so it's kind of an interactive thing it's quite good fun you can see them getting all clean and stuff and they kind of play around with the water it's quite a cool little feature they've put in that's a bit of laughing you can see the amount of different bears we've got there there's loads of different all prefer their own certain type of habitats and stuff bear just happened to send some fish there and uh, if you pick the baby animals it brings in more people and raises your fame a bit more, but they cost a lot more as well. So sometimes you have to weigh that up. If you're short on cash or you want to spend wisely, um, you might want to think twice. But if you're not so fussed about cash or it's not so much of a problem, then I'd suggest always going for the baby animals because they bring in more people. And they grow up to be adults as well, uh, which is always pretty cool. So, that's a challenge complete investment opportunity. Always good. See if you still got the animals there. Someone, for, someone forgot the animals. If you built it, they will come. Save the zoo fund and noteworthy creatures. To bring up your zoo to level 16. Which isn't that hard, really, when you think about it. I mean, we're at level 11 now, as you can see in the center of the top of the screen. Shouldn't take too long whatsoever. Oh, these lions are not happy. The lions, tigers, lions. Obviously, something's wrong. Give them a, a a decent habitat and make sure they've got enough enough of them in the same area. Being social creatures and all, they don't like to be on their own. Post done, and we're already at level 12, so the fame thing's really not a struggle. Hardest thing is the money thing, I think. 75,000 is a fair whack, although you've got plenty of time. Plenty of time in which to get there. We'll get another, another animal in there. Get another lion. Asiatic lion? Mm, why not? Go for the baby, gets more people in quicker. Maybe lining. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. The music and stuff in this is pretty cool as well. I do enjoy the music and the the uh, quite relaxing. And this is probably one of the least stressful games I have played in a long time. Played the studio maybe. Bird keeper. Now we've got some tigers in here. Not happy with their habitat at all. Maybe give them some the enrichment, a eh? scratch post or something Need to play with. Keeps them happy. I think the tigers in there have to research it unless I've got something else. Done. Two, one, research them. Put up. Build the old scratching post. Should cheer them up a bit. And uh, maybe get an extra tiger in there, I think. No, oh, maybe not. So this one needs a bit met. Might not need one. Oh, well put one. Why not? Mm. 
Bengali Tiger. Once again, not happy. See, the zoo's a bit of a mess before we take it over. I wonder if we need some management put in there. Which one get them out? I know they like the elephants, like the water baths. We'll put one of them in. Can also move the animals around. If each I'll show you in a bit more than likely. You pick them up, stick them in other areas. Helicopter comes, picks them up, drops them off. Pretty cool. I look up it gets quite busy. I just need to have more than one on screen at a time though. Should have shame. Try and rush it and just get loads of helicopters at once. It's just complete mayhem. Excellent. So we're up to level 15 now. It's uh, level 13, sorry, not 15. Jump that far up yet. Poor Draffy here doesn't look very happy. On his own? I'm gonna get rid of that water bowl as well. I don't think Draffy's wall. Sure. We'll get a bit of Draffy in there anyway. The helicopter! Oh, they do use the water ball thing. They giraffes drinking out of it. Pretty cool. Yeah, social ones was shooting up then. Level 14. See how easy was that? The leveling up is really pretty easy earlier on. Not quite sure what it is later on. You know, it's already. Two down there. If you build it, they will come. Save the zoo fund and not worthy creatures are left to do with 26 minutes left. Still plenty of time. Cleanliness and social needs of the monkeys is not good. Build a climbing frame. Monkeys like climbing frames. Yeah, and we don't have to research as well. You can see there's a ton load of different stuff there which you can research and build up. You unlock more as your fame level rises, even more animals. The amount of animals there is it's just unreal. And obviously you can see what we've got there. We've got the different options for each animal as well, different areas, which is quite cool. Right a minute, really enjoy playing this game. It's really been great fun so far and there's so much to sink your teeth into. I'm gonna get the uh, campaign out of the way. Do the challenge mode, and then maybe I'll pop on the uh, free form mode. I wouldn't mind trying the co-op out, but Anybody who's bought this game yet? Everyone went for the kill, um, kill songs. Call of Duties, the Battlefields, the uh, Dead Rising. So I thought we'd go for something a bit different. This look fun and you know a bit different from what I'd usually play. So why not give it a go? Struggling here. I think I'm going to be able to afford a new monkey. Not just yet. I'll leave it. see so many different animals and that's not all of them to be fair you can get like little gardens and stuff where you get meerkats uh, ringtail lemurs parrots snakes lizards iguanas all sorts you're gonna get 75,000 at all times sorry 7,500 at all times keep the level up it should be a doddle and you see little warnings there Red warnings popped up on the side. I'll deal with that. Uh, Seventy-five thousand. 
prevent the zoo from being closed down. It's 7,000. Excuse me. It's 7,000. Whoop. See there. Flying up pretty quick. Doesn't take long to get a decent amount of money on there. It's just getting that right balance of building extra stuff to bring people in and keeping the money. So you can see at the moment I need more food and drink. So I'll build a food thing. Level 15. Easy peasy. And then obviously that'll help raise the money a bit more. So spending a little bit can help earn a bit more. Wait, what? Ow. I built two climbing frames. Didn't need two. Never mind. That's what you get for trying to rush things. Not paying attention. But we do need a cleaning stand. Pretty cool to just stand there and watch the... The animals go about their own business, you see them eating the food, cleaning themselves off and stuff, prattling around. It's quite clever how they do that. Are you asleep? Maybe he's dead. Pretty sure I would have been told if a monkey had died on me. Well, how not an animal die on me? I'm not sure if they can. Don't particularly want to leave it and find out. So cleanliness or tidiness, sorry. Needs uh updating, oh, so find my uh, janitors, because they're clearly not doing the job. And get them trained up. And maybe get a couple more. Maybe they're overworked, so if I upgrade this centre. And hire more staff and train up staff as well. Actually train up staff costs more and I qualified the more they cost, so it's worthwhile to keep the place all clean and stop customers pissing and moaning. Fully trained, I think that's the lot. All level 3's, job done. Here are you up to level 3? On, yep, yeah, staff. You can also build like a breeding centre. As well, which once your animals get to, I think it's level six, you can breed them. So obviously you can get your own baby animals without having to pay for them, which is always good. You can also crossbreed animals, I believe, as well. So you can get like rare hybrids of animals. I'm guessing it only you can only be certain animals. So you can't cross Crazy. Get the food courts here again. Serve more more appeal, more customer, level 16, so that's that challenge done. Easy peasy. Still got 21 minutes left, but if you build it there, we'll come. 25,000, the uh, money's coming in a bit quicker now. It's always good. Just gonna make that much money in real life, would be awesome. Yeah. Still not happy in the habitat. I think you might have one of these elephants in the wrong area. Got a, got a view animals and you can see everything about them, so preferred habitats, savanna, then grassland, then temperate forests. He's quite happy. This one again, savanna, grasslands, temperate forest. That one, not so happy, tropical. So we need to move that elephant and put him in a tropical area. I think I've got one over there, I think I saw some elephants. Maybe not tropical, but the, what was it, one below? Grassland? Anyway. So we'll move the elephant. That's just stood next to a giant pile of elephant dump. Don't drop him in the lions. Might be fun to watch. I don't think a game would like me anyway. Put him in with the monkeys though. Can't put him in there at the moment because it's full, I think. I think. I'll just give it a whirl. And yep. Yeah, it's full. So if I drop you off in with the monkeys for a bit. Yep. Here's a bit that gets me, although I've done that, I still can't shift any ammo over there until the helicopters come on place. It up. Right, to disappear. We'll see in a minute. 
What about that elephant in the savannah? I'll just swap him around so the social needs are met. Without any problems. Yeah, well, let me do that. Let me be a bit cruel. Let's try and drop it here now. Won't let me. Still won't let me. And still won't let me. So I think I've got to wait till it lands. If it lands there, I should be able to, I think. I'm guessing it's because you can't. Oh, wait, yeah, it is doing it. All I need to do is once that's out of the way, is hook that elephant over into there. And everyone should be happy. Currently at 36,000, so we're not far from the 75,000 mark. The keeping the attendance or customers or whatever you want to call it above 7,500 is proven to be a doddle. Run away, elephant! Come yeah, on, helicopter. I don't know all day. Still can't do it. See what I mean? Takes a bit of time. But you have to wait for the helicopter to disappear. Okay. I think just to always keep looking around as well, make sure all the areas are happy and stuff like that. And you're meeting your customer requirements. That's what keeps them coming in. Habitat happiness for the giraffes. Got nothing to play with. Rob, do that. Giraffes like three stars. They love it. Get it built. So that should sort that out. 42 thou now. Still a fair bit to go. Build a little interaction thing here. Ah. Just build the wrong one. I don't think it's hidden draft, is it? I think it's from the elephant. Have a look. Check. No, it's not gonna let me use it. No. I'm gonna have to change that. Sorry fellas, for me looking at the uh, shifting the elephants, I uh, reason thought I was putting the thing in for elephants. I wasn't. I want to put a feeding station in for the giraffes. It's pretty cool. It's one of the things where you can use connect for, but I'm not going to do it here because I have to sit away from the microphone and it should be a pain in the ass really. Right, stick a feeding station in, you can feed the animals. There's also like an interactive bit, like a, a screen there, a sensory enriching interaction. Which you can do with, I think, all the big cats, the chimpanzees, and things like that, where you stand in front of it, and then with Connect, you have to pull funny faces and wave your hands about and make lion roaring noises, and the animals will imitate you. It's quite cool. Works pretty well. Very gimmicky, but it's fun nonetheless. Doing a really good job of connecting this. The voice commands and that seem to work pretty smoothly. Obviously, do for me. Much better than the previous Connect did for the Xbox 360, so. Very impressed with that. Don't forget that baby draft to come over here. Let me show you how you feed it. It gives you the uh, prompts for connect there, but we'll not be using that. It's a bit annoying. So obviously, if you don't want to use connect, you've still got that prompt in the way, which I don't think I can get rid of. To a hungry giraffe. I'll give it some grass. Eat a piece of grass, giraffe. Animal creation looks pretty cool as well. It reminds me of the uh, Connectimals or something like that that they did for the Connect. They got to play with silly animals. Never really played it, but it's just got that same look about them. Fluffy, cute-eyed look that they seem to have put in that they put in for Connectimals. Still, it's quite a fun game. Looks like getting further into it. I reckon it'll get quite challenging time goes on with the uh, the harder campaign levels. Should be quite interesting. So we're at 51,000, so we're not far away. Another, what, 20, 
24,000. Yeah. Build some uh, bathrooms. Things here. Uh, place them appropriately. I don't want it out of the way and stuff. It can be quite awkward. I try and still make it look good. Build it there. As you can see the, the builder. The pathways and stuff around it. You can change all the pathways as well. I didn't haven't mentioned yet. You can change the style of pathways. Level 17. Yeah, you can change all the style of pathways. Change the trees. Put extra benches in. Trash cans. All sorts like that. Game clip recorded. This I find can be a bit annoying at times. That popping up and getting in my way. I may have recorded a game clip which I'm probably not going to use. Although, I might look at the upload studio. I haven't used that yet. Uh, can't really record a great deal with it though. I think, I think it's only five minutes with the built in DVR. Just don't get me wrong, I think the built in DVR is a great feature, but you know, I mean, what this video is going to half an hour now. So, I won't be able to talk about that. Alright, let's just give you a quick show around while we're waiting for. Uh, waiting for the money to go up. Oh. Drive around like a complete tour of this. You can't hit anyone. You can see people just kind of move out of the way or the computer shifts and going to hit them. Nobody gets harmed or injured, they just kind of just right out of the way there. Of course, for the best, you can't really be doing a Grand Theft Auto in Zoo Tycoon. It would be awesome. Awesome to try. That's tough, really. Awesome parking skills here. Well, that'll do. It's quite funny when you call them in and they just appear out of nowhere. So, again, we'll look through here. We've got a, a red thing there. Is that one of the cleaning stations in the grasslands, is it? Oh, there is no cleaning station in the grasslands. I'm going to put one in. Yeah, I'll put one in. And the rocky thing I'm researching is done, so I can show you some meerkats. Pretty cool. Get rid of the uh, feeding station, I think. Depending on the size of your exhibit, you only have so many things in. So, if I was going to go for a large exhibit, I could put plenty in. But seeing as these are only small, and I don't really think I should be mucking around upgrading them for this campaign. Especially when I'm trying to get to 75,000. I'm at 62, 63. Far off. Already level 17, so we pissed the 16 level thing. 12,000 people coming in. Great challenges. Oh, this one wasn't. This is only a normal level challenge. I don't know what it's going to be like when it gets to hard. Oh, how hard hard really is. Yeah, let's build the rock thing. And then no doubt I'll have to research meerkats. There's a whole another range of smaller animals in the small exhibits. Uh, meerkats, birds, like peacocks and uh, parrots, mongoose, ringtail lemurs, snakes, lizards. Loads there. So we'll research me, cats. And what, that's 44 seconds away. So that's not too long. 64,000 now. One of the things you want to keep an eye out is you want a decent variety of animals in this so it keeps them more interested and stuff. Let's have a look at the uh, options for the main gate, as you can see. Change the admission prices, as mentioned before, your advertisements, print, billboard, internet, TV, movies, all sorts. Uh, economy breakdown, so how much money you're spending, what income you're getting in, the uh, research, you get like a research tree, uh, which depends on the actual campaign room, what's unlocked and stuff, global communication awards, you can rename the zoo, so yeah, there's just so much to do, so much to do, I mean, literally just biting the surface here, I think, and I look forward to see if they're bringing out any DLC for this, what type of DLC it'd be, because I know there's some interesting DLC on the PC games. I haven't really played the DS games. Tarts on the DS. I'm not quite sure if this was on the PlayStation 2 or not. I can't remember. I give me some Meerkat Sport. But this is a really good port. The control system works really well. It doesn't feel awkward or clunky as you, you tend to get when you get ports of PC games coming over to consoles that the controls just don't work well. Uh, but this seems to be really well thought out. They've really done the homework and just made it work really smooth and I think it's one of the better launch titles on the free, uh, 360, on the Xbox One, sorry, to be honest, really impressed with this, get the meerkats in there, zoom, 
Give a wander. Wander on foot if you want. I think it's an achievement for walking so far. So obviously, if you're after the achievements, which I always had, it's always something to be working at. Keep a foot, but I'm not quite sure. I think it's something silly like 12 miles or something like that. Not far from. Nine minutes. You can see there, got statues and stuff as well. You can actually decorate the zoo with all different statues and upgrade them. That just keeps the customers happy, and happy customers means they keep coming back. But yeah, so much to do. Go down to like the burger vans and things like that. We can have a look at the burger vans, upgrade the food bars. Make it cost more to upgrade, but careful the survey more, gets more people in. As you can see there, everybody seems happy. Look at them all. All in the green. Decorations are nearly full. Some bad things they haven't built any. Apple, apples, animals, all seem happy, and we're not far from a level 18 either. Which is pretty cool. Eight minutes left till we get to 75 thou. We are at 68 now. 68 and a half. Pretty cool. Let's go through check. Decoration, food, restrooms. Yeah, plenty of coverage. Zoom down. Like I said, we'll have a, a quick peek at the burger van. I don't think I've actually visited the burger van yet on foot. I could have I could buy some food. Start eating a burger. Burger. Looks nice. Nice. Nice food stands. Bet they charge a fortune. Change the price on these as well, I think. Yeah, change price there. Put it on normal. You put it up to high, obviously you get more money, but you get less customers coming in. If you put it too low, you probably get more customers, but won't be making nearly enough money. So you kind of have to balance it out pretty well. Although if you get used to a certain point, apparently customers don't mind paying more for it. But for now, I haven't had to do that. It seems a bit, a bit silly. Saving three thou, almost there. And the restroom on attraction needs to be repaired. So yeah, there's... I don't think I touched on this yet. You keep, have to keep the uh, buildings repaired as well. The break free times and the useless and you have to sell them. And obviously the more they get used, the quicker they break down. Which I don't think you can have repair people on this. I know you've got janitors and your zookeepers, but I think there's any way to have it repaired automatically. So you just have to keep and repair it. And that's that done. Scenario complete. So yeah, we'll uh, exit the game. To see it save. That's that scenario done. So that's one down. I think I've done about five, six maybe now. So another 15 to do. Which isn't too bad. Let me get this saved. And back to a loading screen. So yeah, that was uh, Zoo Tycoon. As you can see, I've already done quite a few there. But that was a quick look at Zoo Tycoon on the Xbox One, one of the better launch titles, surprisingly. Uh, I wasn't quite sure what to expect when I got this, but I thought I'd go for something different. But yeah, that was Zoo Tycoon. So, I want to thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to check out the content we have on the site. We get stuff up there as often as we can. And once again, thank you for watching this quick look at Zoo Tycoon on the Xbox One. Goodbye.